So we live in a culture that has trained us aggressively to believe that how we should operate is that we should get up in the morning, go, 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 straight line productivity, and then be able to drop off to sleep at night and then wake up and do it all over again. That is inherently not how human body mind systems work. The military, US military and Israeli Department of Defense have done most of the research on what they call ultradian rhythms, like ultra ultradian rhythms. These are like circadian rhythms shrunk down. So rather than once a day, dark, light, night, day, these happen every 90 to 120 minutes. It's almost like um, if you imagine the circle of like night to dark, these would be like little wiggly lines going up and down throughout them. And what happens is fascinating. There's a real functional necessity to this, which is that when you wake up in the morning, you, are, you move into a period called arousal. You're, there's also a theta state between sleeping and waking that most of us ignore completely. We think it's ideal to wake up, flip the lights on, go straight to our phones or devices and begin checking the markets in Japan or whatever it is. Like what happened overnight? Right. Who, you know, that absolutely does not work for the mind. And it puts us into a state of stress. First thing, it gets us into splayed beta thinking, which is a brainwave state. It's not fun to be in when you're just waking up. So coming into waking gradually is a way of respecting that first rise toward a peak. 